options. In this video, we'll discuss difference between filter, search, and lookup functions in Power Apps. So for that, we already created a gallery in the Power App. Mm. So here we can able to see the data which is getting from the shape and list. We have a shape and list here. So we have a couple of products information entered here. We can able to see and we created a gallery and we added the data source from this particular list. Now we can able to see the data. So here we have a couple of data information in the gallery. We'll try to filter first and then we'll see how search works and then we'll see how lookup works. So for that, when you select this gallery, there is a property named as items. In this property, we can able to see the products as a data source and which is getting all the data here. Now in this, I want to filter the data based on some, uh, based on any, any of the property here. So for that, first, what I'm trying to do is, I'll remove this one. I'm trying to write a filter, not here. Here, I'm trying to write filter function. When you click this one, you can able to see the intelligence here. The first parameter is source. The second one is logical text. And the next one also another logical text. You can write so many logical tests here. So first we'll write the source. Source is products list. Select this products. Now use comma and give some space. Now it is asking, <clears throat> now it is asking for the logical test. In the logical test, first I'm trying to write so here we have some type of products and make also. I will take this make and I'm writing this Sony in. I'm just writing in. Then give a space. Now there is make dot value. Now I have written this filter like this when I closed it. Now I'm getting some values. When I, when I close this, we'll run and see. Now we have this Walkman, we have Bravia as a TV, we have WAC as a headset, and all these products related to Sony. Now, in this, we can able to see what are the um, make companies here, Sony, Apple, Samsung. And now I want to get some more details of Samsung as well. So for Samsung also, I want to display in the gallery, I can write condition in the gallery items here we'll write some you can write and are our conditions now i want to display other company also for that i'm just writing samsung as a value in same make dot value so instead of this is make is a actually the choice column so that's why we are taking dot value then we can able to see the Sam Sony products and the Samsung products also. When you run this, you can able to see this Sony products and the Samsung Galaxy also and uh, Samsung Carby also you can able to see here. So this way, in the filter, we can add multiple conditions to filter the data from the data source. This is about filter. Now, we'll, we'll come back to the search. Now I'm trying to search value from the title. So for that, I'm writing search. So here in the title, I want to get WIC information in the gallery. So for that, I'm first we have to write the source here. And the next parameter, you can able to see the text, which text you want to pass. And I want to pass WIC as a text in the double quotes and give comma and then space. Now we have to write the column name. Now, when you are writing the column name also, you have to write in the double quotes when you are writing in the search and close the double quotes and then close this one. So now you can able to see the information here. Now I have WIC headset and the brand is Sony. Now here I want to change something. For example, I have uh, in the title, I have pixel here and then here also another title have pixel. So I want to get these two information in the search. So for that, I'm writing the pixel word here and try to run this. Now we can able to see the pixel 
uh, with a mobile and this information and the company is Google a pixel laptop Google now we can able to see the two results here in the search now we'll try to write for the lookup column sorry lookup function for that lookup function we have different now when I type lookup I can able to see the source and the condition we have now the source is products now what I am giving is now I'm trying to type pixel equal to I'm sorry so this is reverse actually the title we'll close this one equal to pixel I close this one in the lookup formula now I have written this when I run this I got only one result instead of two results now you can able to see in this the first results in this pixel with a mobile now I got with the same pixel with a mobile as a product type and then the company is Google now we are not got the second one why the lookup actually it finds the first record in the table that satisfies the formula so now this is the first record that satisfying the formula which we written here so that's why the lookup is giving this results but whereas coming to filter filter finds the records in the table that satisfies the formula if it contains multiple also and coming to the search also if you go to the search search also will find the records in the table that contains a string which we passed but lookup only gets one value from the data source so this is actually we are hard coding the values in the formula but if you don't want to hard code the values in the formula now we'll put some text box here so for that go to insert and we have text click text input now I'll put this text input here okay now go to advanced and I'll remove this one I'll remove this text input now here we have hint text I'll pass a hint text with a name as search now we are done with that now we'll go to this instead of passing this pixel that we are hard coded this will remove that so before that what I am trying to do is I'll remote rename this is search okay done come back to gallery and try to type search we have given this control name as a text we'll rename this in stuff like this we'll rename search box this will be good instead of search it is search box now we'll come here if you go to the properties okay so now this one is search box done come back to gallery now yes now try to type search box dot text now we are done with this now try to run here now if I type pixel and I'm expecting this results and in the title if I type Rabia Walkman so we are getting the values here the same way so this is for lookup and then in this I'll change this function from look up to filter now filter open parenthesis now the source is products and then give a comma now the logical test now in the logical text what I'm trying to do is I'm writing search box dot text in I'll write same last time we discussed about make dot value close this one now run this app now when I type Bravia see when I type Bravia I'm not getting any value but when I type Sony 
and then I'm getting the values and if I type Google I'll get the Google results and if I type Microsoft see if I start micro and I'm getting results in the search instead of I'm uh, in the filter instead of typing complete word if I type M I got the results from the Microsoft and then Samsung also contains M so that's why we got this and if I type N then we'll get the values from Sony Samsung Lenovo couple of things because N is available in the most of the make makers name so that's why you can able to get the finally we can use the search also here now I'll close this one the filter we are done I will try with the search use search and then sources we know that products and then text is and typing search box dot text now here we can use a multiple columns now here I can use make we have to use like this make and also we can use title yes title and finally uh, we'll use cost also and we have the cost as well we'll close this one now we are done with this but still we got some message here we'll try to do that if it works fine then we'll use with title bravia bravia we are not getting results and then we'll try to go with pixel now we are not getting because of when i use search and this search columns other columns is not showing properly we'll try with the title again now we'll go with like this okay it's loading now we'll type surface now we are getting values we'll type um, pixel we did and we'll type bravia we are getting results and uh, we'll type cabby and we are getting results so this way we can use search we can use lookup and we can use filter three things will work to filter the data on the gallery but three have a, their own different functionalities uh, we understand that filter function finds records in a table that satisfy a formula lookup function will finds the first record in the table that satisfy the formula even coming to the search function finds the records in a table that contains the string which we passed inside the function or inside a text box and we can use the text box here to pass the to pass the values to the functions so that is about lookup filter and search thanks for watching my video please leave your comments in the comments box if you have any thank you